All right, hey guys, Derek here. I uh, recently been asked a few times in stream what you use on your gun. Uh, I usually just say precision barrel or suppressor since I find the gun's pretty easy to control in this game. Uh, I don't feel like I actually need that extra assistance and I may as well just have my damage uh, carry out a bit further. Uh, however, we're just gonna do a quick test here. I'm gonna be standing in the train tracks of the 40 meter mark and I'm just gonna be going ahead and spraying the wall. So we're gonna use the AUG and the QBZ since they're kind of, I would say the top two guns uh, and they also have a little bit of recoil, so it'll be pretty easy to tell a visual representation versus something like an M4 on how much effect that the compensator muzzle brakes actually have. So, um, my first spray here, I'm just going to stand in the, tree, in the uh, train tracks here, and I'm just going to look right at the bottom. Again, this is precision barrel, so technically nothing affecting the recoil of the gun. I'm just going to spray the very bottom of the wall, let it go uncontrolled, and then we're going to repeat the same test with the compensator muzzle brake, and then again on QBZ. See at the end of the recoiling, it barely recoils at all. It stays pretty straight. So that's a recoil pattern there. Let's go ahead and test some attachments now. Okay guys, so that was precision barrel. Uh, now we're gonna do a spray. Now we're using the compensator. So we're gonna do the exact same test, just shooting the bottom, letting it go. And again, near the end of the spray, it stays about in the same spot. But really, that doesn't look all that different, at least at the 40 meter mark. And I feel like that's about the range where most of your gunfights actually happen. So that's compensator. Let's go ahead and take a look at muzzle brake. Okay, so we have the muzzle brake attachment now. So we're going to do the same thing. Look at the bottom and spray. Army, I'm reloading. Okay, so we'll be able to compare that spray pattern now too. And that's going to be it for the AUG. So we're just going to kind of compare these side by side, zoom in a little bit, and take a look at the actual patterns on the wall. Uh, and then we're also going to be taking a look at the QBZ, so we'll do that up next. All right, so comparing these three quick though, so we can see the AUG with nothing on it. There is a bit of a horizontal kick, uh, and then the compensator here, it actually winds up raising up a little bit more than without it, which is strange. And then the muzzle brake actually doesn't wind up as high. Um, but the beginning recoil kind of seems the same in all honesty. It seems like near the end of the spray is when you actually get the degree of variance between attachments. And that's beginning spray is usually where you're going to kill one or two people. So this is kind of how it looks like summarized in Microsoft Paint with my lack of skills. Um, but again, like the intro spray really isn't that bad. Um, the compensator in muzzle brake, they can help, but it seems to be the, the second half of the spray. So let's go ahead and take a look at how the QBZ winds up looking. All right, so up next we have the QBZ. Now we just have the precision barrel on it, and then we're going to go ahead and test the attachments after. You see at the end, the vertical recoil stops on both guns. I feel like that's the case in a lot of guns in iron sight. Uh, anyways, that's the spray pattern on the QBZ. So let's go ahead and take a look at the attachments now. Okay, guys, uh, now we have the compensator on the QBZ, so we're going to do the exact same thing. Reloading. Interesting. Now, there is a, it's not preset spray pattern such as like CSGO or something, uh, but you get the idea. So that's going to be a compensator one, and now let's go ahead and take a look at muzzle brake. Okay, so we have muzzle brake, so let's go ahead and take a look at the spray pattern here. Wow. It actually made quite a big difference in horizontal recoil, especially at the top, when the vertical recoil basically stops. I don't even have to move my mouse. It's kind of interesting. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the spray patterns and we can talk about it a little bit. So we can see here with the QBZ with just precision barrel, uh, it's still pretty much the same we saw with the AUG. It's almost straight up for the first part of the recoil. And then on the compensator, you know, it bunched up a little bit at the top, but still the vertical recoil is pretty predictable at the start. Muzzle brake kind of surprised me the most here where it's almost straight the entire time, even at the end of the spray. So that's even more so a fix than we saw with the AUG. Now comparing all the three here, don't mind my cropping skills, um, but we can see again the same type of scenario where it's pretty easy to control as long as you pull straight down off the start and then near the end you kind of have to adjust only horizontally though. So that kind of goes for all the guns in iron sight then really that's what I'm kind of finding is that near the end of the spray as long as you can kind of predict horizontally your vertical recoil pretty much dies. So here we can see in Microsoft Paint the comparison. <laughs> I just kind of drew over where the bullets were going. So we can tell uh, the compensator did make maybe a little bit of difference near the end of the spray, but the muzzle brake really kept everything in line. So as I'm playing, again, I still would probably rather just keep precision barrel or suppressor so I have less damage drop off or I'm just not seen on the radar. But I would say if I had to pick one of these, it'd probably be muzzle brake since vertical recoil, all you have to do is pull down when horizontal recoil is less predictable, whether it's going to be left or right. So... I would say with these guns in, in iron sight in general, I'd probably be running muzzle brake over compensator since it's just a you know predictable spray pattern. 
So that's gonna basically do it for today's video. I hope you found this kind of interesting in attachment and the end verdict, I'm pretty much gonna remain the same. It's either just gonna be precision barrel or suppressor, but I may, I may take a look at some muzzle brake attachments and try them out just for fun though. So I hope you found this informative. Thanks and I'll catch you guys in the next one.